have Emilia Hanna from Friends of the Earth. Please give her a round of applause. Thank you. Hello, cyclists. I hope that everybody got here safely. I hope that nobody drove to get down here. I'm here as a cyclist, as an air pollution campaigner for Friends of the Earth Scotland, and as a mum of a little boy. Today, we're here to tell the government that we deserve to cycle safely, without being knocked over, but also to cycle free from the hazard of being suffocated by toxic fumes from too much traffic. The old pollution from burning coal and fireplaces has now been replaced by a more invisible killer, air pollution caused by traffic. Air pollution in Scotland is shortening our life expectancies. It can stop children's lungs from developing properly. It can trigger asthma attacks, strokes, heart attacks, and is a leading cause of lung cancer. Air pollution alone in Scotland causes 2,000 early deaths every year. And what's more, the Scottish Government is breaking binding laws on air quality in Edinburgh, in Glasgow, in Aberdeen, in Dundee, and in other towns in Scotland. But it doesn't have to be this way. If the government can get more people cycling, this will reduce traffic levels, improve our air quality, and save lives. I want you to imagine a city with a low emission zone which bans dirty vehicles from the city centre, with raised bike lanes separating cyclists from cars, with traffic lights that are timed to go green for cyclists, and where there are footrests for cyclists at junctions, which even have signs on them saying, cyclists, I hope you have a great day. Well, the city exists. It's Copenhagen in Denmark. <laughs> and you can see why there, more people cycle than drive, and they don't have our air pollution problem. Now, the Scottish Government has launched a low emission strategy to tackle air pollution. It's got a consultation, it's live, it closes in five days' time. And as it stands, its plans are full of potholes. We say the low emission strategy must give, must give us low emission zones and a bigger spend for cycling to clean up our air. Please help us to make this happen. Go to the Friends of the Earth Scotland website and from our homepage, you can send a letter to the government to call for cleaner air. I'd like to really thank Pedlon Parliament for bringing us together today so that we can act together and make our voices loud and clear that it is our right to cycle safely. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, one of the main